Okay, in this video we're going to do an unboxing, or in this case an unbagging, of a hard drive power switch. And this device is actually going to allow you to switch between hard drives so you can have different operating systems on different hard drives in your computer. So you can shut the power off to all the other hard drives and just have power to one hard drive where you have a specific operating system on. So I'm going to actually use this device to have a triple boot machine because I have three hard drives, but this device will actually allow you to do a quad boot so you could actually use four hard drives with this device. And it actually fits in a three and a half inch drive bay. So I have my trusty cutter here and I have a pair of scissors. So we're gonna see what we're gonna need to get this thing open. I'm gonna try and actually get it open just with my hands and that might not work because the adhesive on this is pretty strong. So, let's see. Let me grab the scissors first, and these are busted, so hopefully I can actually use them properly. And get this thing open here. Let's try the cutter here. There we go. And let's pull this out here. Okay, so this is the Orico Floppy 4 Groups HDD or Hard Drive Power Switcher. And I got this for $34 shipped. So let's get this box open here. Originally what I wanted to do is I wanted to buy this in white because I'm going to use it on my white tower. And I had it all ordered, but the company that had it on their website no longer had it. So they refunded me my money and I got this device on eBay. For pretty much the same price I would have gotten the white one for. So this one's a black one. And let's open this up here. And of course it comes with cords. That's the device itself. Some more cords. And instructions. That's pretty much it in the box. You have your user's manual. It tells you pretty much how to install this. You have your cords. And these are going to allow you to plug in your drives into this device and then power it. Now remember, like I said, this thing works off of cutting the power to your drives. So it will only have one of your up to four drives powered up at a time and that's how it's going to start your system up. And here is, it has a couple of Molex on one side and a uh, SATA on one other side, or SATA. Let's see what this is here. Got some SATA connectors here on this. And the last one looks like the first one. It's got uh, two Molex and uh, one SATA power connector on the other side. Let's get to the device itself here. And let's pull it out. It's a very basic device. It comes with its own mounting screws here. And like I said, it fits in your three and a half inch drive bay, so your floppy drive bay. And it has these four buttons up here with four LEDs under them, and they're labeled one through four, or zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four. And what you do is you just press in whatever drives you want powered on. Now you can have multiple drives powered on at the same time. That way if you have one of them as a data drive you can use that that way as well. Um, if they're clicked up then they're powered off. So if I had, in my case I'm going to have Windows XP on one. If I want to use it I'd click that in. I'm going to have Linux on number two and then number three is going to be my test drive. So I'm going to use different operating systems. I'm probably going to use Windows 8 on it first. And then you have option for a fourth one. And then here is your board and then here are your connectors where you actually connect the power and your drives to. So you connect your drives to here and these are your power connectors here. It's mostly a metal construction with some plastic components on it which obviously are these buttons here and 
other than that, the front piece is metal as well. So I'm going to install that on my tower and have a multi-boot computer. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you thumbs up this video or favorite it, it helps out my channel and I'd appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, just please post them down below. So that does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.